hello friends in this video i will show you how to get or retrieve data from a firebase database so let's start here this is my firebase database and it contains this file dtest and it also contains one more file fdata both these comp components have been added here dtest and f data so here i will be using this dtest so let me first delete all this data from dtest then we will add new data to it For deleting data we have to click on this cross and then it will show that all data at this location including nested data will be permanently deleted so click on delete and it will permanently delete all the data from dtest so now dtest is empty and it is showing null now let's go to sketchware here i have three edit text field edit text one edit text this is edit text 2 and edit text 3 then i have a button which will send or add data to the database and then i have a list view which will show all the data from the database so let's go to logic area here we have to save the data on button click so button is button 1 on button one click we have to add a new map variable here i have added this map variable called map one so first we have to create a new map by using this map one create new map then put values to map one you can use different key or same key here I will use different keys like A1 name and sex now after this use this edit text one get text to get the value of edit text to map now after getting the values or adding the values of edit all the three edit text to map use this block firebase db push value so push the value of map1 to database called dtest you can name it anything but here i have named the database as dtest after that just go back and now add this component add this event Firebase D test on child added. So once the child is added, use this block Firebase database D test get children to list map. Here you have to create a new map type of list. So here I have created two map lists. Let me just remove one of them. So here this is a new map list with name maps. So I will just get the children from database to list maps. And once this list is created, I will add this list to the list view. So I will use this block list view one 
set list custom view data list map maps along with this we must set the custom view for this list view and for doing that we have to create a custom view here i have created a custom view with one text view uh, since i will be showing three data let me add three text views text view three four and five and after doing that after creating a custom view we have to go to the list view and select that custom view here after this add this event list view on bind custom view and in this event use this block text view set text text view 3 text view 4 and text view 5 these are the three text views and custom view and we will set these text of these text views to the values from list map so we will get the value at position of maps with key we have to use the same key here a1 name and sex here use a1 name and sex okay after doing this just go back to firebase on child added and here after getting the children to database getting the children from database to list map we will clear this map so that we can add more items to the map so use this block map one clear now let's check this okay here let's first add one then name or you can write anything else like sanjeev and then a sex for it male now let's send this it sends the data to database and then retrieves it now let's change this to Sanju and let this be same so this is again added to the list So in this way you can add data to Firebase and retrieve data from Firebase. Let's just check the Firebase now since we have added these three data. Just refresh this page. Now you can see that three items are added to this 
database and they are the items which we added in the list so i hope this was useful for you for retrieving the data i used this simple code on child added which was firebase d test get children to list maps and for this i have created a list map with name maps and then i have set the list map as custom view data of list view 1 and after that i have on bind custom view i have shown the data from maps placed to text view so i hope this was useful for you thank you very much for watching this video